this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create lightning, which is to take any of your uh, nighttime scenic photos and make it seem like there was some lightning happening at the same time, which can make a photo quite exciting. So uh, this is a prime candidate for it. We're just going to add some lightning around here because uh, the, the mood seems like it, you know, it would be lightning anyways. So what we need to do is open up our layers, create a new layer, and with the gradient tool here, making sure we're on black to white, we're going to go ahead and click on the top left edge and on the bottom right without holding down any shift, just from the top to the bottom and creating a gradient like so. Okay, now what we want to do is maintaining ourselves here on that one layer. We're going to go into Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. And now what we need to do is just do an inverse of that layer. So we're just going to do Control and I. And as you can see here, we're already starting to have a bit of the lightning here. Now if you don't recognize a lightning that you like, then what you can do is just do that again. So you can just go back into your history and um, before you created the, um, after you create the gradient, so you can go back in and just do different clouds and then invert until you get a lightning that you like. So I'm pretty happy with this one. So now what we need to do is just bring that out a little bit more. So we're going to go into image adjustments and levels. And with levels, we're just going to exaggerate here to uh, exaggerate the white part of the lightning and get rid of all this other stuff here. So we do this by just moving the black slider here to the right. And you might also want to be tweaking here a little bit of this middle slider here as well till you get to a point that you like uh, the lightning that you're getting. So I'm just going to move this slightly over here like so. I'm quite happy with that and click OK. OK, so now we have a prime candidate for our lightning and the way that we can transform that, get rid of all this blackness, is just change the mode to screen. And there you go, so you have the um, lightning, com not the lightning coming through without any of that black. And the other thing that we can do here to make it a little bit more realistic is this uh, white fluff area here. Uh, is not quite matching the sky. It would seem like it would be a bit of the clouds that would be coming through here, perhaps. So what we can do here is change the color of this so that it's matching more of the color of the sky, if there is any, if this makes more sense to the image that you're working with. So with us here, there's a predominance of purple, so we're going to go into Image, Adjustments, and Hue and Saturation. We're going to tick Colorize, and now we're going to change the hue as you can see, we're starting to change the hue here. It's predominantly on that white fluff area. And now we're going to just change that to like a purple, something that matches the, the sky, like so. Okay. And now what we can do here is just delete the, uh, the other parts that we don't need. So we're just going to add a layer mask and just delete the parts where uh, it's going into the mountain because we don't want any of the lightning going into the mountain and there you are. Now if you want to uh, make this a little bit more realistic what you can do is create a new layer and then go ahead and create more uh, of these lightnings and then you can place them differently and uh, making making some transformation um, differences. For example if you do control and T then you can make it you know shorter, you can make it longer, you can make it taller and so forth. So you can vary them a little bit more if they're not varied enough until you get a look that you're satisfied with. So that's the lightning trick. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.